if you look at all of the counties that we've mentioned, these are areas that infrastructure has grown to. This is road networks, rail networks. There's been growth of amenities in terms of schools, hospitals, retail facilities, office facilities. If you look at Kiambu, it's very well known for very successful master plan developments such as Tatu City, which have created a lot of jobs around the area. There's retail facilities such as Spur Mall, Thika Road Mall, all within this, this area. There are successful developments here. But all that means is that a county continues to grow and infrastructure development then opens up new places for air, um, real estate development. Now, the times have changed when if you were living on Thika Road or down on Mombasa Road, you would be completely cut off from, from the rest of Nairobi. These days with the expressway, with Thika Superhighway, with the Eastern Bypass, you can enjoy a much better quality of life living a few minutes outside the city and then commute into the city for work as and when you need it. But jobs are also now following where people are going to. And for us, that's been a key ethos at Superior Homes. It's, it's reflected in our house types and our developments where we give people green spaces, play areas, large houses with gardens, but they can live a little bit outside the city, have a really good quality of life within a gated community, but then commute in for their work. Ultimately, Kenya still remains possibly the most attractive investment destination within East and Central Africa, and among the most attractive investment destinations in Africa itself. There's a growing population, there's um, a real strong need here for education, we are now seeing growth of services, such as call centers within Kenya. So when you look at the general long-term prospects, they remain very positive and very, very stable. And that's what we look at, because these projects are not a year or two-year projects. These projects are 10 years, 12 years, 15 years. In some cases, people do 20-year projects. So it's not about the cycles of the economy, but whether the fundamentals of the economy remain strong. And economies will always go through difficult times, just the same way ours is at the moment. But as long as the economic fundamentals of the economy remain strong, you will continue to see investment because people will say, okay, we're going through a tough time now, but it will change and we will get to a couple of years of prosperity again. With regards